September 11th, 2017. Did Marshmallow Man divert doom? Well, it looks like Hurricane Irma has dissipated into a tropical storm. Wind speeds aren't really that intense right now, according to this chart. They're at about 40, 50 miles an hour max. You can see right here we're at 49 miles an hour, and that's directly over this tropical storm right now. And it looks like Jose is going to dissipate and go back into the east, head east up there in the Atlantic. So this is fantastic. A lot of people were speculating that, and I even thought there was a possibility at first that they might geoengineer this storm to go up the east coast and hit D.C., Chesapeake Bay, possibly New York City, etc. But when you look at the jet streams, and as I've been saying since the beginning, unless they find a way to move it up, this is going to go in between Cuba and Florida, and it did. And now it's, you know, it's really not too much of a concern. I wouldn't want to be in the heart of it right now because you're still dealing with 40, 50 mile an hour winds, but nothing like the 150 mile an hour winds that were predicted. So here's what I think about this. I feel that the media did a wonderful job playing wag the dog. Wag the dog. Look over here. Look over here. While they're doing something over here. You know, they, they pulled some fast ones on us. Now, Hurricane Harvey and Houston and the Gulf Coast got obliterated. Towns of the Gulf Coast got annihilated and they're, they're rebuilding. But my goodness, there wasn't much warning about that. It was, oh, North Korea, North Korea. Kim Jong-un has a hydrogen bomb that's going to fit on an ICBM. We need to worry about that, worry about that, worry about that. And then Houston gets hammered. And then you find out from people on the inside, people that are actually there working as rescuers out of the kindness of their own hearts. And, you know, they weren't with FEMA. They weren't with Red Cross or Salvation Army or r rushing winds. <laughs> well, guess what? They were the ones getting their getting their hands dirty, helping people out. And they said there was very little presence of these organizations that were supposed to help people in times of need. Now, with that said, FEMA, I went to their website, they do offer a whole bunch of hotels that supposedly you can stay at and they'll reimburse you. And let's, let's hope that they do that for people that have had to go through this. But I think this whole thing, now that I look back at it, was used as a wag the dog scenario. And Clearly, they showed images of this hurricane being just humongous. Yes, it caused some serious damage. I get it. But why did they focus on this hurricane, not Harvey? And, you know, I mean, it's just like, okay, we'll, we'll talk about something else. Then you guys will get hammered with something. The news, the media should have been all over Hurricane Harvey. They should have been telling people weeks beforehand to get ready, to prepare. No. Then half of Florida, I'm being sarcastic here, but a large part of Florida evacuates large cities like Miami and stuff because they're, you know, the, the showing that this hurricane is going to go up on that path. So the media freaks out the wrong people. And, and I feel this is all a part of a larger plan. I feel that they're doing this at the higher levels to beta test the population, see where people go, see how much they can freak people out and see how much they can influence people to go do something before it becomes an imminent threat. And they'll portray it as an imminent threat. And when you see something like Harvey destroy Houston, or not destroy Houston, but put Houston under water and just completely destroy many homes and structures out there, it certainly does make people, you know, makes people a little bit more cautious and prepared. And, you know, like the, the gas situation that happened for a few days, the, the water shortages in Florida, etc. It's all a part of this plan to understand us better, to, to be able to you know, turn up the knob a little bit, to, to just, just tweak things a little bit more. Okay, let's, let's raise the bar a little bit higher. Let's see how much more we can poison them and manipulate them before they finally snap or just completely lose it, like they just give up. Now, I had a great, great guest on the show yesterday. If you missed the show, I definitely recommend watching it. It was with Ray. He's an ex-NASA contractor, uh, engineer, aeronautics, avionics, etc. And he talked about how certain parts of the ozone are being destroyed because of these SAI, stratospheric aerosol injections. They're actually STDs, stratospheric transmitted diseases. <laughs> so he says, look, we need to wake up right now and we need to stop these chemical sprays, these, the, this manipulation of the weather, because if we don't, 
in seven or eight years, we won't even be able to grow crops outside. Imagine that. Imagine not being able to grow crops outside. What would that be like? How much of the population would cut down then? Is that really the reason why these governments and corporations and very rich, prestigious individuals are building large underground facilities because above ground might not be habitable like it is today. I've seen a lot of pre-programming and TV shows and movies that predict that future. Let's stop it. Let's stop it right now. If Marshmallow Man can, can help Irma cool off and become friends, well, my goodness, why stop there? Marshmallow Man, stop these aerosol injections. Stop these stratospheric aerosol injections. And also, I'm going to divert attention here for just a moment and uh, digress. Tyler from Secure Team, he's got a great YouTube channel. Tyler from Secure Team got in a really bad motorcycle accident. And wow, um, may the force be with you, Tyler. Everybody that's listening to this podcast, send Tyler good vibes and good energy and uh, pray for a quick recovery. You look, you look pretty rough there, buddy. I, I saw your, your leg in that video that you posted on your channel. And wow, man. So we're going to send some good vibes your way and you're going to heal up pretty quick. So may the force be with you. Thank you, everybody, for being here with me. And thank you for all your support. Thank you for the good vibes. Hurricane Irma, now just a tropical storm. Wag the dog special. What were they really doing? What were they really hiding? Let's find out. Be the change you want to see. LeakProject.com. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, radiation levels are at 0 0.10, 0 0.1 microsieverts per hour. So, not too bad. 